Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from Interest.co.nz and welcome to a special report on investment banking brought to you in association with ASB, which isn't an investment bank. This story really tells you a lot about the culture of excess on Wall Street and what caused the credit crunch. This story is all about John Thane. You'll see a picture of him here. He's the CEO of Merrill Lynch. He was recruited to Merrill Lynch from New York Stock Exchange, where he was the CEO. Before that, he was the boss at Goldman Sachs. He really was the cream of the crop in the world of investment banking. Up until just a few weeks ago, he was well respected, seen as a Mr. Fix-It, even with the disasters that we've seen in the last year or so on Wall Street and in investment banking. In September, when Merrill Lynch, like all the investment banks, realised the game was over, he managed to sell Merrill Lynch for over $40 billion to Bank of America, which is a proper bank. Then in December, as the deal was closing, he rushed through bonus payments to staff of over $3 billion, even though he was at that time telling Bank of America that Merrill Lynch had made losses of over $15 billion in the last quarter. Overall for the year, Merrill Lynch lost $25 billion. Turns out Merrill paid its staff bonuses of $15 billion during that year when it lost so much. Then it really began to unravel for John Thane when it emerged that he had spent $1.2 million refurbishing his office. These refurbishments included a, a thing called a commode with legs for $35,000. Now, it sounds like a toilet to me, but it turns out it's actually a bedside table of sorts where you put chamber pots, very popular during the French aristocratic period. He also had a rubbish bin, what they call in America a trash can, worth $1,400. It was made of parchment. That's where he threw all those bad bonds. And the toxic debt, no doubt, went into the commode. To end it all, John Thane asked for a $10 million bonus for himself in December, even as Merrill Lynch was declaring these huge losses. The scale of it is amazing, and unfortunately this is indicative of a climate of greed and excess on Wall Street, which is now having to be unraveled, and which has rippled out through the world's financial system and caused grief around the global economy. I'm Bernard Hickey. That was a special report on investment banking, brought to you in association with ASB, which is not an investment bank.